You may have received an email from Google that says smart shopping campaigns are upgrading to Performance Max starting July 2022. This is dangerous, y'all. And it's dangerous for a bunch of reasons. Um, smart shopping is not analogous to Performance Max. There's a bunch of stuff inside of your smart shopping campaign that is not inside of your Performance Max campaign. There's a bunch of stuff that Performance Max needs to run that smart shopping doesn't have. And, more to the point, Performance Max works way, 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 way different than smart shopping does. Um, one really big note here is Performance Max does not do remarketing quite as well as smart shopping does. And so what this means is you have this huge remarketing audience instead of smart shopping. And if you were to allow a smart shopping campaign to upgrade into Performance Max campaign and then leave it all alone, you would miss out on that remarketing audience. Well, Performance Max will actually, I think, outpace smart shopping from a new customer acquisition standpoint. So here's what we're recommending. Keep the smart shopping campaign that upgrades to Performance Max running. Because if you want to be proactive, your inclination might be to turn this off and then go rebuild in Performance Max. The problem with that is you've got this big badass remarketing campaign that was built into your smart shopping and you're going to abandon that remarketing audience. So we want to keep the smart shopping campaign that upgrades into Performance Max running. At the same time, we strongly recommend building a Performance Max campaign using all the best practices that we've been teaching you with the same budget that you're spending in smart shopping and get it ready to rock. Because what I think is going to happen, not, no, this is really unfair, by the way. I have no idea what's going to happen. But what could potentially happen is a smart shopping campaign that upgrades to Performance Max is going to function really well for as long as you have that remarketing audience for it to eat off of. And then all of the fail points inside of that smart shopping, now Performance Max campaign, will begin to uh, manifest themselves because it's going to be, um, it's going to be limited and, and, and significantly limited. Um, and so you want to be able to flip the switch um, right away. And, and depending on how quickly it fails, let me say that again. How quickly it fails will depend on your sales cycle and, and how long it takes to eat through that remarketing audience. So there's a balance here that needs to be struck. Don't let Google just turn your smart shopping campaign into a performance max campaign because even if it's functioning well in the beginning, what you'll notice is after Google has eaten through whatever remarketing audience smart shopping and fed it, um, it's now going to go and play its dynamic prospecting game, but it's going to do so in a, with a flawed model. And so you want to have a performance max campaign ready to rock to take over. Um, but you don't want to just kill that smart shopping campaign because even as a new performance max campaign, it has a tail of remarketing audiences that you don't want to lose. Um, and the very last thing that I'll say is make sure you have a dynamic, dynamic remarketing campaign built out. Um, to accompany your new Performance Max campaigns because Performance Max doesn't do dynamic remarketing as well as Smart Shopping does or did. That's it. So nobody knows what's going to happen, um, but you want to be prepared. You don't want to just throw the baby out with the bath of water and lose what value you do have inside of that Smart Shopping. And, and when Smart Shopping upgrades to Performance Max, if you see it working, don't rest easy because it's probably... It's probably working off of a remarketing audience that is going away. So keep a very, 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 very close eye on it. Um, yeah, I hope that helps. I'll see you all on the other side. Wait, before you go, I'm constantly looking for amazing people to come join our team. So if you're passionate about Google Ads and you're passionate about customer success, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. And we'd love to see you as a part of the Solutions 8 team. Also, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. It lets the YouTube algorithm know that we actually know what we're doing. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We shoot a video every single day, and I don't want you to miss out on any of it. Lastly, if you have questions, comments, concerns, confessions, or you just hate my face and my voice, go ahead and hit us up in the comments. We get very little human interaction, and even the heckling is something that I kind of get a kick out. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being subscribers if you're a subscriber. Don't forget to apply if you're interested in working at Solutions 8. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.